Hi, my name is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. And recently, I've been creating uh, quite a lot of visuals generated on VVVV. And since I got a few feedback, few questions on how to how I make them, I decided to make a tutorial. And yesterday, I released this tutorial on how to make uh, how to import 3D animation inside VVVV. And I got a few feedback from a friend asking how uh, they could I could play with vertex data of 3D mesh. So I decided to make that tutorial. This is what we're gonna reach today. So it has a noise, it has position, so you can choose which place you want some noise to be. Also, I'll assign this vertex noise uh, node so that you can actually see like this is the type of noise that you actually see. I mean, noise, vertex noise. And it doesn't have to be uh, human mesh, but you can also apply noise on sphere. And you can also uh, let the noise uh, effect uh, from the texture. So yeah, for this one, you can see you kind of see what's happening here. So yeah, I'll I'll step by step introduce how to, how I made this. So first of all, uh, let's start a new patch. Go away, new patch. As always, you need a render. I do grouping all the time. And then axis and grid. This is the basic three I use. I use the render DX11 render. If you haven't installed uh, DX11, uh, please do. This is most important packs. Recently in VVV, I believe. And you can download it from here. And if you don't know how VVV works, uh, this should be what you get if you install VVVV. Don't forget to make packs folder here, and then you just have to put the X11 pack here. Okay. Everything you just downloaded, and it's the same to some others like Field Trip, Instance Noodles, the X11 particle, the one that I explained yesterday as well. Just put it here; it should work. I mean, make sure that you're in the right version of your VVVV. Okay, so we have access at grid. You see nothing because. I don't have a camera. Let's put a camera here. I like this orbit one because you can uh, put your cursor cursor on your render and it immediately can move around. And there's no 3D objects. So I'll just put a sphere and a fong. And for today, it's better if you have a wireframe on it. So I'll just make another group and then put wireframe node. And this one is also from Instance Noodles. So if you haven't installed Instance Noodle, please install that one as well. This is also a PAX. You can download it from here. I'll put the link below. Just download this one and put it in the PAX folder. And in case you haven't followed the one from yesterday, I also love this field trip. I might use that one today as well. So download this one and put it in the PAX folder. Yeah, so now we got a wireframe for the sphere. Um, so uh, let's see how we can add a noise to it. I like when it's organized. I just keep it organized. Stretch this a little bit because it's going to be a wide long patch for today. Okay. So basically, if you want to add a vertex noise onto it, there's a vertex noise. Uh, note already from instance noodles. Everyone is happy. Thank you for making this. Everyone's happy. Everyone is happy. Uh, so by using this one, you can actually apply a noise. Which is already quite handy, but sometimes you want more, more control. And in that case, you can also, for example, add a parallel noise or I'll use a noise 3D. One of the best noise uh, effect I've had recently. I'll just put a plug in and see what kind of noise it's showing up. So I don't I want more frequency on it. 
well I just leave the time right now just leave it to zero so if I plug this one to displacement texture array and also I want to preview it so I'll put it on the fong, text, fong direction texture then you can actually see you can already see that the noise the texture is applying the noise oh wait I need to change the 3d setting now I don't have the depth setting so I'm seeing things behind so yeah if you change this depth buff mode on the render press ctrl i get this into spectre and then change this from non to standard then you wouldn't see things behind so now I think the noise is more powerful where it's red and where, it, where it's black it's not showing that much noise I'm not really sure what it is but I mean it, get, it gives you more control on the vertex noise so I'll try to use this more than just uh, vertex noise yeah so this is basically what you can do and I mean if you just want to add random uh, noise on the vertex this is all you need to do just add vertex noise onto it and, and it should do all the magic for you but uh, I got a question from a friend asking me like he wants to control uh, vert like he wants to add some noise on the certain position like for example where the position is around zero y-axis is around zero then he wants to add noise on only on that part and to do that there's several way on the exit 9 it was quite easy ex9 the x11 you have to use this node called get vertex data uh, but by using this, you can I, uh, get the vertex data of the position uh, of the of the geometry. Make sure that position enable is on. However, you don't see any values because it's uh, it's GPU based and it's texture based. I mean, it's a buffer. So what I do basically, I usually do is I read back uh, buffer. So this is a position buffer, which should be X Y Z, so like three D. And now we can get 3D data of it. I, I, I now the, I think the resolution is too high. Just keep it lower, so I don't have too much noise. I'll just make sure that I can. Make sure. So now, okay, this is a good enough. Be careful with using readback because this uh, converts GPU like buffer to a CPU calculating thing so it's, it's quite heavy using this readback node so don't apply this don't use this for a big mesh keep it small or get a better pc for that anyways so what i want to do here is i did a readback and i want to apply uh noise on how do you say the vertex that that has uh, vertex lower than zero let's say so I'll split this one you now do some calculation uh, so this is when y is around zero then it should show one so this is gonna be the noise amount I'll apply how much noise amount I want what this one is doing is if the if this y-axis, so there's 1,836 y-axis coming out right now and it's calculating if that y-axis is around zero and this epsilon, epsilon means like around so now it's zero, it's quite strict but let's make this bit wider now it should have more to it uh, and if it's around that it gives one if it's not around that if it, it gives zero and now it's only showing zero because the first value it has, it has is minus 0 0.5 which means it's not around zero at all um, so doing this and then I also should not forget to add one because it sh usually should have value all right yeah I'll just, I'll just Let me get just this one. Well, I'll, I'll just keep it like this. I, I hate calculation. So, uh, vector 3D join. Now you just put the normal x, y. But I want to give uh, noise on the x value, x, x axis, axis. So what I have to do is I have to multiply the amount of x axis with the vertex I got from the y axis. So now after doing this um, I have 
I can make a vertic uh, geometry out of this using set vertex data, but in this one, uh, you need to get the normal 3D buffer as well. So I use dynamic buffer and put it back to GPU and put it into the set vertex data. And get the normal data, get the EV data. Also, you need to get the vertex count or otherwise it wouldn't show anything. And now I can plug these guys here. And what you see is, so at the moment, I think the center is zero. And so 0 0.15 until minus 0 0.15 is now uh, showing one. And it's adding a noise on the x-axis. So for example, if I lower this down, the epsilon thing it shows less noise if I put it to zero okay so there's no y vertex that has zero so let's do anything if I want to make it higher I just have to raise this equal value if I want to make it lower so if I for example if I want to add some noise on the x the one that's the first value that's coming out from here this guy says it's minus 0 0.5 so I just set it to minus 0 0.5 and I don't know why it's not showing but then I can add some noise and this one that I'm multiplying here is the noise amount so I'll just say it's a noise amount noise. so if I add this one it multiplies more if I put less it goes down I try not to change this one Yes, yeah, so this is basically how you can specify, like you can add noise on the part that you really want yourself. You can, I think you can also slip, split this one. For example, just uh, I chose this one. This one is input input position, and then for example, I change it to call, calls rows pages. I put it three so that I can choose three different location. So, for example, one it doesn't exist. I think. Okay, it's doing something weird, but I mean, if you want a random noise, it looks cool. Okay, I'll just stick it to one. Uh, yeah, so, uh, for example, now I did it with sphere, but now that you have this effect, if you change this vert geometry out to a teapot, you should have, you should get the same result. And now you can move. So if you uh, connect the geometry that you got from uh, like three characters here, so I'll put it back to the one that I made before. So in, in this patch, I got the character animation, so I put it here, and then I set the geometry, the wireframe and the fong. So now I can make this kind of effect that it's kind of like scanning the position of the character and it's making bigger or smaller, so it looks like a scanning something. Maybe you can make a fancy effect out of it. But yeah, this is basically how you can play with uh, Vertex. I mean, if you want to do it precisely, just read back everything, do some calculation. If you want to do it randomly, just use Vertex Noise. And you can get this Vertex Noise from the Instance Noodles. If you want to use... oh yeah. Yeah, I think most of the stuff here are from Instance Noodle, so if you install Instance Noodle, just play with it. If you don't understand uh, plus F1, that's how you can see the uh, sample patch. But it might be difficult because most of the stuff here, Vertex Noise doesn't have. I think their set Vertex Data doesn't have a sample patch. So, But I mean, it's explaining it here. So if you follow this tutorial, you should be able to understand what it does. And if you have any question, just let me know. Thanks for watching and see you next time.